Hey, let me show you how to get 1440p out of your Nintendo Switch with M Classic. Pretty straightforward. To speed up the demonstration, I'm using two side-by-side, -side, two 1440p gaming monitors, and I'm using a 4K HDMI split, right? Coming out of HDMI out of the Nintendo Switch dock, right? Going video in, video out on two side-by-side. -side. As you can see, you will not be able to notice any difference between the left and right, since the gaming monitor have been set up identically the same way. Now what I'm going to do is I'm taking the M Classic, right, right there. I'm going to plug it into, normally I will plug it in the back of the dock, but since I'm going to use an HDMI split is, I'm coming out one of the output of the HDMI splitter, right? I'm plugging M Classic in the back. I'm plugging back the HDMI cable in the back of the M Classic. And since there is a graphics processor built in, it requires power. I'm going to use the USB cable provided in the EMS Classic package, plug it into any USB port. I happen to have one available on the Nintendo Switch, right? Put back the power in the back of M Classic, right? That's it. And now power is on. Right? So by default, the LED will turn green. I'm in a full mode processing. And from the get-go, I see a drastic improvement, seeing is believing. And if you look at the color re-rendering that is done with M Classic, if I look at all the edges, if I look at the result of the depth of field, there's no discussion that one way or another, you should be able to notice some drastic improvement between the left and the right. Now, let me show you a quick way for you to be able to see that you actually, that the content has been re-rendering in real time with no lag time at 1440p resolutions. And I'm looking now the output of the M Classic on the monitor. And what do I see? I see indeed that the M Classic is re-rendering the content, the content at 1440p at 60 hertz coming out of Nintendo Switch. That's pretty cool. Now let's go back to the original. And what we will be able to see is the expected output of the Nintendo Switch. And as we can see right now, it's actually 720p, right? I personally like to set up the Nintendo Switch to 720p and not 1080p, since the graphics processor built in rendered a native resolution at 720p. That's the optimal visual experience that you will get out of the Nintendo Switch. Now, on the other hand, with M Classic, I'm actually taking the 720p in real time, upscaling it again to 1440p and every single pixel get redrawn into from 720p resolution to 1440p resolution. Thank you.